Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be <clears throat> a second opinion from a complete stranger online. In a few hours, there's a big fight taking place in Moscow. You need to look at that fight. It's at cruiserweight. It has a guy who I think is an up-and-comer. I believe this guy is about to do some great things. He's an unbeaten fighter. He's 15-0 and with 15 KOs. His name's Dmitry Kudryasov. And he's fighting Juan Carlos Gomez. Right, a former cruiserweight champion who famously took on Vitaly Klitschko and who campaigned as a heavyweight for more than a decade before returning recently to the cruiserweight division. Now understand this fight's intriguing because Kudryasov comes in behind a jab, right, and Gomez is an unorthodox slick southpaw who moves. And so the question's going to be, can this young fighter, again, who has a 100% KO ratio, deal with the slickness and the southpaw stance of his opponent? Here's what I like about Kudryasov, and I prefer him to Arthur Biturbioff and some other fighters from what used to be the former uh, Eastern Bloc, right? Kudryasov actually has some defense. He has a pretty good jab. He has some defense. He's an explosive puncher. He has a very nice uppercut, right? Everything seems to key off the jab. Now, I have a fight posted in my favorites folder here on YouTube. It's a fight between him and a guy named Lubo Suda. And what you're going to see is he starts a little stiff. But then he starts to warm up. And when he gets cooking, he gets cooking. He drops Suda off a body shot. It's a left hand that he tucks behind Suda's right elbow. In other words, Suda's protecting his body. Right? Kudryasov threads the needle on the body shot. Then... As he realizes that he has his guy hurt, he starts to open up a little bit, right? You're going to see him actually bending a little bit. You're going to see him go from using his arms for defense to actually using his upper body for defense, which I prefer. The punch that ultimately ends the fight, and Suda goes down a few times, is a very nice short straight right hand at the end of a combination. I think this guy is physically blessed. I think he's an explosive puncher. More importantly, I think he has some defense to go with his front foot heavy game. Right now, he's a greater than 4-1 to one favorite over Juan Carlos Gomez. And understand, they're fighting for Gomez's title. Right? It's not a world title. It's one of these uh, international titles. But understand, they're fighting for Gomez's title, and Gomez is a greater than 4-1 to underdog, right? I like the favorite here. I like Dmitry Kudryasov. If you're a fan of the cruiserweight division, you need to pay close attention to this fight. Kudryasov is making a name for himself. I believe he breaks through in this match. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.